The newest edition of the LEGO Life magazine arrived today and has leaked details about the plot of 23ville. I mean, not really, but uh, <laughs> there's a comic in here that actually features the series 23 minifigures. So I thought we'd just take a look at this today and compare it to this older magazine from 2010, which I featured in the first 23ville video. So without further ado, this cover is about Luigi. Wow. Actually, I have Luigi. LEGO Luigi guy. So that's fun, um, but yeah, so <laughs> it's corn. We don't have the original corn fig, but we do have Cornelius, the popcorn costume kid, which is this kid, but you set it on fire. So that's fun. I'm not gonna read all the comics. I'll read the one that pertains to series 23, but uh, some fall festive stuff. I think this is the, it doesn't say, oh, it says the September, October, 2022 edition. So cool. Lego Friends said it's promoting there. These are basically catalogs, by the way. But here is the Series 23 comic. It's a Halloween mystery, so we'll just go panel by panel. Great Halloween party, Max. I mean, <clears throat> great Halloween party, Max. None of this is canon, by the way. Great Halloween party, Max. Thank you. Hey, has someone seen my hat? I had it when I came in, as you saw. There's a horse thief at this party. Series 22 finale? Anyways, huh? A horse is wearing a hat? Oh, yes it can. Bam. Classy. My candy cane is gone. <sighs> and my pumpkin. He doesn't even have the pumpkin. Because he can't hold it. <clears throat> Where's my sword? <clears throat> and my walnut. <clears throat> I'm just, I'm ad-libbing here. Well, hmm, there's nothing, a mystery here. And I can solve it faster than Detective Max. All right. Where were you for the last hour? And all of them, you, and where's the snowman here? You, dragon out, oh boy. You, you, and all these extras. They're here. He's not wearing the boat. Why is he not wearing, the fine, he's not wearing the boat. Okay. Um, they're all here. Is there a lost and found? Says this wolf that you can name in the comments with hashtag name. What if it was a candy cane, sword stealing, ghost catching, pumpkin ghost? Oh no. <laughs> Let's look for fingerprints. Wait, we don't have fingers, we have claws. Oh no. There's no such thing as ghosts. Hey, what happened to my <laughs> magnifying glass? Oh, Cornelius cameo. <laughs> if there are no ghosts, what's that? Uh, it's, I'm not looking and it can't get me. Oh no, what is that? Where is my thing? Okay. Ooh, spooky. It has all the stuff stuck on it. What is it? <clears throat> oh, it, that's not a ghost, says Max, detective at law. But that's the answer to our mystery. Come out from under there. Where is he? There he is. Oh, what do you have to say for yourself? That stinker. Look at his mischievous grin. Winner of the co- He's t talking to It's Scooby-Doo, everyone. It's Scooby-Doo, everyone. Winner of the costume contest right here, Reggie. And she is absolutely thrilled that a member of her species has won. So anyways, that was the comic and uh, the, the leaked plot of 23ville. None of this will actually happen in the series, but I thought it would is fun because, hey, there's characters and they're going on an adventure, you can say. Probably not as cool as the adventure world right for them but uh lego made a good attempt and it's fun that they referenced the well they definitely didn't reference our thing but like horse thief that's an accidental reference so now that i just have a mess all with all the figures oh well i can continue reading and we'll just skim it so here we have luigi he has since died and he's just about as haunting as the ghost he's catching yeah yeah you can sit right there brother um Harry Potter puzzles. Oh, that's a great hidden word right there at the bottom. <laughs> Lego friends, apples, helping her out around the house. That she is washing them very inefficiently. Um, Skywalker saga. I still have to finish that. I, pre I played the the prequels in that on the Switch, but I haven't done the the original trilogy or the sequels yet. Which one is better? Which one should I start with? The zombies are coming. Obviously, the, the original movies are better, but like level-wise, any recommendations there? Disney's dots. I don't have any dot sets. Ninjago crystallized with Kai. Oh, so that's kind of fun. I can kind of see the resemblance there. Um, oh, cool creations. These are always fun. We definitely should have went for those. But congratulations, all of you children from various parts of the world for getting in here. My favorite one is here, like that's so, it's a lot of sets obviously, but like it's really cool. Oh, that's so sweet. They remade the Apocalypse Berg set, the Lego Movie 2 Statue of Liberty kind of doomsday thing. 
but with their own pieces. I really like that. That actually might be my favorite one. Uh, we never actually submitted a photo to get in, but we totally could have. Um, corn stunts. Do I have a stunts? Yes, I do. I did have to get this one because it's like a funny bat bathtub kind of thing. How do you do it? We okay, great stuff. Uh, what's else? <laughs> I use this in the Muppets video because it's kind of like the Menomina. Do 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 do. We do not have that anymore. The Menomina creature. Um, but it looks like the flamingo kind of thing. Technic. I could not care less about Technic. I kind of want to get that creator set. I don't have it yet. But like those big eye pieces are so cool. And uh, <clears throat> and obviously I'm gonna block up my address there. But we have a new comic here. So this is a sequel to the original comic. W w what characters are we working with here? We have Elf Girl. We have Unnamed Wolf. We have Reindeer. It says uh, Max's Halloween party has been solved, but the trouble isn't over yet because someone died. Hey, that dog ran off with my snow globe, obviously. Arf, arf. Um, and my set. <clears throat> and my sack. Arf, arf. And my gift. Arf, arf. Call the police. Oh, wow, this is getting drastic. <laughs> Call the fire department. Call the stunts riders. Are we calling these guys again? I don't really know. What can I say? I love stunt cycles. Well, you gotta ride one then, Miss Reindeer. Great. Oh, wait. Oh, we gotta have to do this now. We have to find these. We have to find the present, the sack, and the snow globe in no particular order. Do you wanna, do you wanna do it? You've probably found it already. Actually, no. You comment me. You tell me, timestamps, where these things are in the video and I'll pin you, all right? So good luck. Hopefully I showed each page for long enough. But yes, I am going to black out most of the address except for this right here, Oscar. <laughs> um, obviously I'm way too old and all of my siblings are way too old to get a Lego magazine anymore. So we had to invent a younger brother named Oscar so we could continue to get him because I think they're fun. I think they're basically catalogs. They also send us catalogs, which are like more interesting, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should just grow up and stop getting them, but they're fun for videos like this. So there, Oscar is real. So that was a that was a fun time, but can it compare with this magazine from 2010 when I was actually a child and I could get these 3D glasses myself without having to invent a fake younger brother? So yeah, this is this is my favorite magazine of all time, Lego magazine of all time. It has these 3D glasses in them, and they don't really work. Obviously, these ones are very bad, but like. I mean, you can kind of see, but it comes with these, these layers, right? Like an onion or an ogre. There's three different layers, and when you look through them, I'll look through them. It's so cool. It pops out right, the, out right out of the page. And then they have, like, the three highlights for, like, the different themes that they're promoting. So, oh, this, this is nostalgia. Um, the one comment's like, load of bricks of nostalgia or bricks, whatever. I'm butchering that. I'll put it on the screen here. But, yeah, lots of nostalgia for if this was your time. A lot of the use probably before your time, 2010, but for me, this was prime time for my Lego obsession as a kid. So yeah, Matt, old Max actually, with the hat, the beanie, has his 3D glasses, just like I have mine. Never got into Bionicle, but yeah, this 3D comic, <laughs> so cool. Again, you, you really can't see it, but I can see it, and I'm not going to read it, but it inspired me to get Lego Atlantis. Not this specific set, but one of the smaller ones that come with a, a less cool key. But I always wanted to get more of them. They're not as cool as Power Miners, but uh, pretty cool theme. Apparently they made a movie about Atlantis on Cartoon Network. I never saw that. But then Toy Story. We got mo <laughs> Actually, we got all of the Toy Story sets except these two, ironically. Where's Woody? Here's Woody. So those are super fun. Army Men. I'm glad actually we did get two of those because that was such a cool set. Army, like, like Lego never does military and they did the Toy Army because it was cool. I wish we had Stinky Pete though. And this, I could pass on this old-timey western town but having stinky pete and zerg minifigs that would be pretty cool not like the new buzz movies zerg but the act the real zerg um star wars comic it comes with this like creepy palpatine thing when they had the weird cartoony am anime eyes but uh i actually have magnets I, I think they're decapitated but i have a magnet of this guy and then the, uh, the other guy like the gray creature but then we have this uh i actually have that this I don't have the cord where did I go, but uh, they did the second series of Power Miners with like lava stuff, and I never got into it. Or like, I don't know. The first series was just so good, and this is cool, but uh, I don't really know why didn't we didn't get more of them. And this isn't even from this original line. We got this huge later on. So 
I've never bought them, but maybe it would have been cool. Lava Trash is really cool. Uh, oh, this set. This was one of my very first sets. I still have it. It's partially intact. This is the Apple Tree Creator House. Back when they did like faceplate non minifig scale houses. So like there's a door and windows, I guess. But it doesn't come with minifigs, first of all. And you really can't use them that well with these kinds of sets. But like this is such an iconic set. And I should probably just take these pieces and use them for other projects. Because they're kind of just sitting in this box, not doing anything. Like this pink plate, I'm taking that now. I don't need. Did that originate in this set? I don't think so. So I'm taking this for elsewhere. Very nostalgic set for me, and I'm glad it's in this magazine. Lego Racers was fun too. <laughs> you can see my excellent handwriting for 2010. It says Stomp to Win. We didn't ever got any of those stomper things, but those are pretty cool. They always looked cool. And then look at this, there's like a club, lego.com back in the day. Oh, that's even more nostalgic kind of. But they had bonus content online. We never really got into the, well, we never got these sets, I guess. We have an older fire truck, and then later on there's another fire thing. But fire was always a cool thing. Fire is way cooler than police, in my opinion, for Lego stuff. More Atlanta stuff. Ben 10, I forgot that they did that. Lego Ben 10. And then... It's pretty short, but then it's just the promotional page or a VIP, whatever. Atlant go to Atlantis. They found it, I guess. That's the point of including the 3D glasses. And then the Brickmaster magazine. Anyone remember this? That's like the bonus content. We subscribed to it for like two months or something. We got two, two things out of it or maybe a year. I can't remember what the smallest increment was, but we got a few of these bonus things that it was kind of fun to build each month and then lego universe never had a computer that was able to play this but this was so cool we got to play a demo of it at a convention one time and the, oh man the hype behind this for me as a child was intense and this is the back page obviously covering this again um but the fireboat this was such a cool set my brother and i got this as a joint christmas present probably this year, 2010 or around then. And it was super cool from our aunt and uncle that now have their own kids that like Lego too. So hello and uh, thank you <laughs> for this. This is our only big type of this kind of boat that floats and also in the Lego magazine. So we, we kind of did good on this. It's not like a checklist or anything, but we almost had every single thing that was in this magazine from 2010. So that was probably, the, yeah, as I said, the, the peak of our Lego obsession as kids. And then we kind of got out of it for a few years, but kept everything. And then, oof, definitely got back into it a few years ago and making videos, of, obviously, with that. Um, and these magazines played a big part in our, our nostalgia and our, our love for Lego. So I, I wouldn't recommend, I guess, making a fake little brother. But, like, if you are a kid, definitely sign up for the Lego magazine. It's free. And uh, it's a fun way to... Fun way to grow the hobby. So thank you for watching this strange video. I have so much stuff to clean up <laughs> and we will talk to you next time. Actually tomorrow, I'm doing daily uploads on this channel until I've run out of them. I did a tutorial how to build Lego 3D glasses. So stay tuned for that. That'll be right here when it's posted and um, watch your belongings around this guy.